So this is uh, just a quick video about these little Bluetooth modules and uh, and how to get these guys configured. Um, the only thing that we're really worried about, um, both to configure and to use, are these four lines. We basically have power, and, uh, and that's going to be either 3.3 or 5 volts. Check your data sheet. Um, these blue Smurfs from uh, from Spark Fun. Um, will work. Uh, I've tried them with both 3.3 and 5. They work fine. Uh, this one happens to have an ex external antenna, but uh, the little chip antennas work just fine. They're a lot more compact. Um, and I'm happy, in terms of Blue Smurfs specifically, I'm happy with the, the gold and the silver. Um, both of them work fine. But uh, we need to change the baud rate, or we might need to. So, um, so the first thing you can do is actually change that baud rate using Bluetooth from your computer. But um, I've actually had some difficulty doing that, and so I prefer to hardwire um, uh, with a little FTDI board. So I'll tell you, I'll show you what that is. Um, this is an FTDI board. This is uses the sort of the six pin, which is kind of the standard Arduino setup. Um, but in essence, what this does, this is a USB to serial robot talk translator. And, um, and here we have some basic pins. Again, the only ones we're worried about is power and signal. And we would go about uh, just plugging this guy in. Ground to ground, power. And then uh, you just got to remember to swip swap your... TX and RX. So TX to RX and RX to TX. And boom, you're done. And now this can be plugged into your computer. Um, USB, you find the COM port this is using just like you normally would. And, uh, and now you're talking to your, uh, your Bluetooth module. And I'll show you that terminal program in a second. Another option is this FTDI setup is actually already on your Arduino board, if you're an Arduino person. There's the chip right there. Changes USB talk to robot brain talk. Um, if you pop the brain out of there, you can connect your uh, positive negative and your signal. If I have enough hands here. Uh, just like that. You can get your RX and TX plugged right in there to the regular RX and TX power over here, boom, and uh, and that will do the same thing as this little guy. So let's go to the terminal and see what we can do there. Okay, so here we have our terminal program. You can use any terminal you like. Uh, there's one under your start menu, etc., etc. And uh, down here, I've got uh, COM37 selected. That happens to be my FTDI uh, USB to serial convertifier. And I happen to know my module is working at 38.4. Uh, check your data sheet, and you can find uh, you can find the the uh, default uh, uh, baud rate. You're going to need the default baud rate to change to the rate you want to use. Now. We need to enter the command mode. I read the data sheet uh, and I found out that one, two, three dollar signs gets me in. And right here you can see command with a little goober of data ahead of it. If I hit capital D, I can get the data about the unit, in this case the baud rate at 38.4. And I also know the command to change the baud rate it happens to be capital S U comma nine six the two first two digits of the baud rate I want to use if I hit that I enter right down here I get an AOK -okay, which means it got the command uh, I'm going to change it back so it'll work the next time I want to use it 38 another AOK -okay. uh, again another capital D to get our data double check our stuff yep we're at the baud rate we want to be and to get out of command mode Minus, minus, minus. Oops, those are underscores. How about minus, minus, minus? Oop, one more time. Come on, baby. Done. You can see our little question mark here. Those underscores confused it for a second. Uh, but there it is. End. So we're out of command mode. And it's that simple. Um, your module is going to work most likely in a similar way. So uh, read the fantastic manual. 
and uh, check out your default baud rate and the commands used to change the baud rate. Jink them into your little terminal program here and you can easily set the baud rate of your Bluetooth module. And now you are ready for your Bluetooth module to talk to your robot brain.